Well, this place sure packed up. It's so nice to end your day early. Wow, I'm rarely ever an early bird and like, getting going early, stopping early, but I sort of like it. <laughs> Tons of parking for me at the end of my day. And I get out of here before everybody else gets out of here and get out on the highway. I, I love mornings. I just hate waking up. Actually, you know what? As I say it, it's it's gotten better. I used to hate waking up early in the morning, but I kind of like it now. It's like the air is fresher. Get to watch the sunrise, get out on the road, enjoy my morning. And by the time the day gets going, I'm already half done my work day. I can sort of enjoy my evening at the end. It's not so late. Eh, it works out. So today's a big day. Diesel, you back there. What's going on today? What's that? Are we going home? Hey, are you excited? Why do you hate the camera so much? This thing must make some kind of like high pitched noise that I can't hear that he can hear or something. Because you were so excited a minute ago, and every time I put the camera on you, everyone thinks you're so sad, man. I just hate the camera. And I like my pillow. Huh. Bouncing off the walls. As soon as I start vlogging, he goes and lays down. I don't think he likes to be on YouTube. He likes you guys. He just, I don't think he likes the camera. He doesn't like to be in the spotlight. I'm a shy guy, man. I'm a shy guy. Okay, well then I won't put you on YouTube. Let's get going. Let's get out on the road and uh, let's go home. Eight hours of driving. Eight, no, nine hours. Eight hours to the border. Put the seatbelt on so I don't fall out. Turn this volume up so it warns me when I have scales coming. Come on, hurry up. I got my breakfast right here. Got my coffee right here. I'm hoping that that coffee is more than flavored water. Turn the lights off in the back. And we're ready to go. We're gonna do a little tug test just to, uh, you know, for peace of mind. Make sure the trailer won't fall off. And hoop, hoop. Trailer is attached. We're gonna start rolling forward. And brakes release. That is the final part of my pre-trip as I roll away. Okay, there we go. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Even though Britt's gonna be at work today when I get home, maybe I'll stop in and uh, say hi to her at, at work on the way home. But uh, I'll probably go home and uh, mow the lawn. Woo! Oh, don't act like you're not excited. We're gonna go mow the lawn. Okay, so to Interstate 94, this way. Okay, so we go straight, but we gotta stop first. Let the good tourists through. Let the family on the way to school through. Wait, no, school's closed now still, isn't it? I would know that if I had kids. One day, I'll be in the loop. So now that the fertility clinic, speaking of kids, uh, the fertility clinics are reopening in Manitoba, as far as I know. Uh, so we should be able to get back on track with uh, hopefully getting a kid of our own soon. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Excuse me, bud. Excuse me, bud, it's a green light. Green means go, let's go. rolling around back there. Oh, my peanut butter fell off the shelf. Well, how about that, Diesel? In 200 meters, take the entrance to the ride on by 94 West. Might have to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich later now. Where do we go? West, I-94, this way. Green means go. All right, I shall go. 
Let's get on the freeway, man. Full power. We're not very heavy, it's a pretty light load, so I can't even really feel that I have freight in the trailer. Which is nice. I don't have to struggle up the hills. I should have cleaned my windshield. Shoot. One thing I forgot. Coming in! Coming in hot! Continue along this road for 156 kilometers. Thank you, good sir. Made some room for me. And we dive directly into construction. All right. What a way to start the day. So like I said, eight hours to the border, another hour and a half up to our yard from there. And then uh, just gotta load some stuff into the pickup. Not too much, cause I'm only going home for a night. I go home for tonight and then tomorrow evening I gotta head towards uh, Okotox, Alberta, which is south of Calgary, Alberta. Gotta deliver that first thing Monday morning and this truck's gotta be back uh, Tuesday. Cause this thing's gotta get safety, like I was telling you yesterday. Gotta go into the shop and get safety. And then it looks like I'm gonna be home for a week after that, which isn't wasn't exactly the plan. <laughs> I wanted to be home for like four or five days. Uh, well, probably four four days for our fertility appointments and stuff. Make sure that we get it uh, get there. But uh, since this truck needs a safety, it needs to be home a few days earlier than I need to be home. Well, I'm gonna end up being home the whole. I know it. It's not really the plan right now, but I know that's probably what's gonna happen. We're gonna get some chores done. We're gonna get some stuff done. We're gonna build a dog run, drywall our living area, and mow the lawn. That's the best part. And the big ball of fire in the sky has come to join us. We're over halfway back already. Well, it's quarter after 11 right now. We have another four hours of driving to get to the border. Fueled up in Roberts, Wisconsin, on the uh, west side of the state. There, made my way over here, and look at us go. Should be home at a decent hour tonight. And I know I always talk about the daylight hours, but it's so amazing. Being down in Alabama just two days ago, the sun would set. What did it? Nine, eight, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. It was dark. Up here, the sun doesn't set until like 10.30. It's not even that far away. I don't know. One of the things I find interesting. So, we just gotta park this truck at the yard when we get there, because we're uh, continuing on with this trailer to Calgary tomorrow. Or to the Calgary area there. Okotox is what it's called. Small town south of Calgary. But I only have to leave tomorrow evening, like around supper time or whatever. I just gotta get like maybe to Brandon, Manitoba. And from there I can do the rest on Sunday and deliver Monday morning. So we're just stopping in for tonight. So I don't even have to unhook or anything. I just go and park the whole unit in the yard and take the pickup home. And enjoy some, well, an evening. Maybe get on the mower tonight. Diesel, you excited? You can watch me mow the lawn. I'm excited. Britt's at work all day today. I think she's just getting to work now. She'll be at work till after supper sometime. So we'll have the house and yard to ourselves for a couple of hours when we get home. And we're back in Manitoba. There's the Manitoba sign over there. Karen's already yelling at me. And the scale is closed. That is a proper welcome home. That is the proper way to welcome a trucker home. Closed scale. Look at they got truck parking over there now. Oh wait, no, that guy's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I guess it's truck parking now. What are they doing here? Oh, they're building a new scale or something. Or they're fixing the old one. That was always just a mosh pit driving through there. The pavement in that scale was so bad, so bad. It made Michigan look good. And that's not easy to do. I guess they're redoing it. They redid the highway here now with actual cement this time, which is nice, because usually they just like put a, 
uh, like a half inch layer of asphalt over the top and it lasts for at least two months. This should last a bit longer. So now that we're in Canada, we have well, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so to our yard. I just gotta park the truck, jump in the pickup, throw the weasel in the pickup and off we go to home. Looks like they might have work for me next week. I'm not too sure, but I'll be in a different truck. But I'm pretty sure I'll just be home for the week because I'll be out of hours by the time I get back. I'm going to need a reset after this Calgary. I've got to reload in Edmonton on Monday. That's taking me back home. And then they asked me if I was available, I don't know, to, if they had a different truck for me to do a quick run next week. I said, yeah, I'm available, but I didn't think of it. My hours are actually going to be uh, gone, so I'm probably not going to be. Well, we'll see what happens. Next week is next week. Let's just worry about today. Hey, Diesel, you ready to go home, bud? You ready to go home? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, I know. I'm, tr I'm going as fast as I can, man. Here we are. Got my water pump here i got some bad news it says it's made in china i hope it works okay we got I'm gonna wash the bedding because we washed all my clothes down the road got this whole big bag for brit's stepmom one of my mother-in-laws whole bunch of Orville Redenbacher's popping and topping buttery flavored oil. She wanted six of these. What are you gonna do with all that? Are we having a, a movie night popcorn party? Because I'm down. She told me to pick this up for her. <laughs> okay. I also got some pop tarts. Those are for me. Those we'll leave in here. Because we'll be back tomorrow. So we're only taking home the necessities. Oh, we'll clean this whole place up tomorrow as well. That's right. Just the important stuff. Everything else can stay here. Okay, let's get everything into pickup and let's go home. It's a hot one today. It's just as hot up here as it was in Alabama. Exactly just as hot. It's just not quite as humid. The air isn't as thick, but still piping hot. Our nights get cooler though. The nights down there are just brutal. I couldn't sleep and my truck doesn't idle through the night. Uh, it's a policy thing. So I, I had a hard time sleeping. But as soon as I got up here, like last night when I slept in Wisconsin, oh, the nights are a little bit cooler. They're still pretty warm, but not like Alabama warm. Oh, we got a motorcycle cutting everybody off here. Are you kidding me, man? Like, really? Oh, he's giving her, he's giving her. Dude, that's why motorcycle insurance is so high. So we're sneaking our way back to the southeast, Manitoba. I love summertime so much. You know, look at all the fields, they're all green still. They're, they're still not turning golden or anything. Next month they'll start turning golden. In August, they'll be getting harvested, September, October. And before you know it, you'll see the farmers preparing their fields for winter and for next spring. And then Christmas comes, and then after that, there's there's this dark period for three months, from January to April. It's, uh, I don't really know what happens in that period, but uh, all I know is bad things happen. Let's, let's just say that. There's no use for those months. I tried tearing those months out of my calendar and they just, that didn't stop them. I don't know what else I can do. My favorite mug. It's a secret. So yeah, I'm just at home for one day, uh, for the Saturday. And then Sunday we take off towards Alberta, and then we're coming back for... It'll probably turn out to be close to a week, because my truck, like I was saying, needs to go into the shop, get serviced. 
And I also have the next weekend booked off for fertility appointments. It's also Canada Day weekend. It's the 4th of July weekend. It's all in one big shebang right there. So be home for all the celebrations and uh, we'll see what they'll have us do after that. I'll probably be gone for another three or so weeks after that. But a little bit of home time video is coming after the next couple of days. So I think I have three more days yet and then I'll be at home. Uh, I usually don't film every day that I'm at home. I've got so much to get done here that sometimes it's just easier just to get it done and then show you the progress after. But <laughs> I have to actually go put coffee in my cup. That would make a lot more sense. But thanks for watching today, everybody. Uh, tomorrow uh, we'll head off towards Calgary.